Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing, let me look up notes, 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 notes. Uh, yes, it is Yandere Stolas and Yandere Blitzo. Um, both of them are going to be, are going to be, um, what is it called? Sorry, brain fart. Are going to be comforting their darling who is having a panic and overwhelm sensory overload from the holiday season. So it's going to be a holiday party and how they would react to that. Here are going to be some head cannons and all stuff of how they would react and such. And then a mini scenario. Yes. But first let's get on to the disclaimer. Disclaimer Blitzo and Stoltz are not yandere in canon, and they are not a canon couple yet. They most likely will be, unless Stolas kicks the bucket. But they are not Yandere in canon. This is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters and Yandere's is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. And remember to separate fiction from reality and head canons from canons and all that good stuff. Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Fine girl. Now on to the head cannons. Head cannons. Stolas would be the one to be very, very, very worried and um trying to comfort you and to soothe you naturally without being even more overbearing to you. Now Blitz would also be worried, but be more so overbearing on the side. Stolas is not as overbearing, but Blitz is really overbearing partner. They both have different ways where they worry about you. Stolas would be the worry wart that tries to comfort you, but not be overbearing. And Blitzo would be the one that's a bit more confident, but also very worried, but not worry warden, but would also be a kind and also would be the aggressor. Like who the frick has hurt you to cause this? I will put a cap in their butt type of situation because he is the aggressor. He can take out what's hurting you. And Stolas wants to be the comfort and trying to help you breathe to calm down. And Blitz is overbearing. So yes, that would be their main head cannons and traits for that. And how they deal with it is in the scenario. So let's do this. And sorry that this is going to be a shorter one. It has to be for various reasons. It was the Christmas party at the Goisha, Stolas Goisha's Manor. And he was getting everything ready. You were starting to feel very much overwhelmed at this point. You had spent the whole day getting ready because this is your first party with your partners, Blitzo and Stolas. And you were worried that you were not going to be good enough. Stolas divorced his wife a couple of years ago, and he was now dating Blitzo openly. His family didn't like it so much, but the party was more so for them and for the Goisha just to suck it up and all that. And some did. Some were just curious to watch it all fail, but you, this was your first Christmas party or any party in general at such a level and you were nervous blitzo was trying to calm you down but also brushing it off not thinking it was big of a deal yet come on it's just one party we'll drink we'll uh eat a lot of the good food and then we'll have adult fun time at the end of it it will be great we'll frick like no one's business with the room filled with mistletoe blitz says jabbing your side a bit it's it's not that blitz you tell him and he just smiles at you and then kisses you deeply don't worry we'll be great at this he says and smacks you on the butt you blush and try to get the feeling out of your head blitz did not understand your anxiety issues or your over sensory issues and being in a party with so many uh goisha and having to be up at a certain standard it made you really really nervous you walked out and there was Stolas greeting guests. You saw so many Goisha and their all eyes were on you. You were not a Goisha yourself. You were a sinner demon. And being able to be at a party of Goishas was almost as bad as being Blitz. But Blitz did not care. He has gained the confidence and with him and Stolas not to be worried about that stuff. You, on the other hand, were beyond nervous. You walk 
and and slowly started to gather yourself. You got some wine and you were shaken. Suddenly people were walking up to you and talking to you, trying to introduce themselves. It all became noise in your head and you couldn't even hear them talk. Like they were muffled and far away. You started to shake and you ended up breaking the glass in your hand, gripping it so hard as shards dig into your hands and blood drip from your hand. You curse and then say you were going to excuse yourself but you heard them talking. It was like ringing in your ears. You could hear them, but not hear them. And all eyes felt like they were on you. It was so overwhelming. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. You grab your head, blood in it, still on your hands, a glass and still in your hand and start to panic. Everything was closing in. It was getting so cloudy and black all around you. You couldn't take it. You couldn't take it. You let out a scream and dart out of the room. You were too overwhelmed. You ran to the nearest room, which happened to be the kitchen and climbed into the cupboard and hid yourself far away, curling in on yourself and keeping yourself safe and small from the rest of the world. As you try to calm your breathing. Stolas and Blitzel were in the kitchen right away. Your name, where are you? Blitz says and rushes around looking for you. You whimper and he hears you and he goes to the cupboard. He opens it up. Your name, he says. And Stolas came right by him, bending over in his head, going like 360 degrees. Are you okay, your name, he asks. He reaches out for you and you flinch away. It was all too much. You were too overwhelmed. You couldn't stand being around anyone. Stola saw this and knew about your anxiety disorder and that big crowds made you feel very self-conscious and overwhelmed. It's okay, he says. It's okay. Who did this to you, Blitz? Demands. I will swear I will end them, Blitz says, very frantic and worried. Blitz, now is not the time, Stola says, and Blitz looks at him. Sorry, he says, and looks at you. Stola gently takes your hand and... You shake with his hand, holding yours. It's okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. In and out. In and out, he says. And he helped you regulate your breathing for what felt like hours. But it finally started to relax. You are okay. You don't have to go back to the party. I will have Pringles. Go up and bring you a tray of food and you can sit in the room, comfort and get into a nice comfy pair of pajamas and we will be up shortly. Yeah, the party is over, Blitz said firmly and Stolas nodded. Stolas picks you up and takes you upstairs. Blitz was definitely going to end the party early and take anyone out that didn't want to leave. You could hear the screaming of Blitz ordering everyone to leave, and you put your head to Stolas' chest, listening to his heartbeat. There, you didn't have to worry about anything. You knew that they put you above the party and that they were sorry for what they did, and it made you feel seen, and it made you feel loved. Stolas apologized for not asking you if this was okay, and comforts you deeply. He takes you in, gets you in a nice pair of pajamas, and you guys sit with you in a weighted blanket wrapped around you, on his lap as you slowly closed your eyes and fell asleep into the warm embrace of one of your lovers. Soon Blitzo came into the room, curled up next to you and wrapped his tail around you and stole us. There you were safe and sound and they will always put your comfort first before anything else because they adored you. You were theirs and you are the only thing that mattered. And Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed, and if you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see, and I will do my best to do it. And also, if you have any uh, suggestions or ideas for stuff that you would like to see, comment it below. And if you have any christmas theme stuff, comment it below, because I will be doing Christmas in July when I celebrate Christmas with my family for the gift-giving stuff. There will also be Christmas videos in July. Yes. Now, on to the Patreon outro. Patreon outro. First, I would like to welcome my new witches, warlock, and sorcerer tier uh, patron, which is Matt. Matt, thank you. Welcome. You are fabulous. I'm sorry I'm not saying your last name. I cannot remember it off the top of my head. I apologize. I will have it in the image, though. Thank you, Matt. And thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. And also in this tier, as well as you can see on the list. And also, thank you, Gav, for being my first patron and my most expensive tier. Thank you, Gav. You are fabulous, wonderful, beautiful, 
thank you. And I hope that you all enjoyed this and that you all have happy holidays. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.